Walter Overcall, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, we have a very special show for you this week. We're coming from Chicago, where a Mayo delegation of high-ranking officials and councillors are visiting the city to promote Mayo amongst the diaspora. And this evening here in the Western Hotel, they were launching Home to Mayo 2022. Fell in love with the other side tonight. Someone over there caught my eye. I'm ready to let this go if you don't mind me. I'm ready to let you know if you come back. Home is people and place. It's something in the air, the land, the sea. Something real. Something you feel inside. No matter the space or time between us, it's a connection. A connection that binds us. A connection that drives us. A connection that defines us. So when you ask, am I coming home to Mayo? I say, I'm already there. Thank you all very much for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Catherine McConnell and I'm a Director of Services with Mayo County Council. And we're here today, we're here for the weekend because Mayo believes that our people are not just in Mayo, we are around the world and it's important that we stay in touch, that we reach out, we engage and connect because we are all connected. I won't keep you very long, I just want to introduce um, the travelling delegation led by our Cohirloch, Cohirloch on the Corlewio, Michael Smith. I'm blown away by the influence um, that they have in everyday operations and life here. I was at the Irish Fellowship um, uh, event today and I'm here tonight we're hosting um, a big Mayo diaspora that's in Chicago and I definitely think that we've underestimated it. Um, it's something that we need to nurture more and you know uh, start, ad advance a lot more in the coming years and something that we will be looking at. Uh, I definitely think I, I had not realized how much influence the Irish have in the halls of power I suppose as to, to put it another way. Uh, in Chicago, in the state of Illinois, and generally in the whole American uh, governmental federal system. Um, so it's something that we've probably taken for granted, but something that we need now to tap into more than ever. And, and Brexit has a, a part in all of this as well, and more so that it's important now to reconnect with, with even from our own country with Mayo people that abroad. Absolutely. I mean. If you think about it, Henry, um, we, we're a small country, five million population, roughly, and the influence that we have all over the world is phenomenal. And I think the Mayo connection here tonight that, that, that we've realised is phenomenal. But the, the connections and the, the way that the Mayo people, the Irish people, have infiltrated, to use, to use, not to use a word like infiltration, but we've infiltrated the political system, uh, we've infiltrated the legal system, we've infiltrated the every every echelon of society here has the Irish influence in it. And that's really important to us now more than ever because, you know, we're looking at Brexit and, you know, uh, our neighbours would like to think that they will do whatever they're going to do. But it's important that we have friends in America, in the USA, uh, who are going to look out for our interests because while they're looking to negotiate new deals with the likes of the United States and Canada and Australia and all these other countries, it's important that our interests are protected. And I think that the Irish America that I've experienced here this weekend is definitely looking over our shoulder, watching out for us. Tom, it's lovely to have you on the programme here. You're actually Deputy Mayor of this wonderful city of Chicago. Must be a fascinating job. I love my city, number one. As an immigrant child of parents that came from Mayo, we are so fortunate to have such a great city to represent. There's, there's always 
issues with major cities, but we are so blessed to be here in America and to be in Chicago. And I have a responsibility to make it even better. Do you get a chance to go back to Ireland, go back to Mayo? I Not know your job. Not since I've been <laughs> <laughs> But actually, when I was growing up, I spent two summers um, in Ireland uh, on my grandfather's farm um, on the River Moy. My dad came from a family of eight. Seven came to America. Could we see today when we see the next Irish mayor of Chicago? <laughs> We've had a lot of Irish mayors. Oh, we've had a lot of them over the years. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't it be lovely? Uh, and, and from Mayo then, on top yeah, of that, wouldn't it be something else? I don't know if we else? have Mayo mayors, but... No, uh, but wouldn't it be nice to have the first I, mayor? Look, I love my city. I do uh, the best I can. My, my adage has always been, be the best at what you, at the job that you have, and see where it goes. The other side is I'm a business guy. So, you know... It, and you're in the it, restaurant business. Restaurant people, business, yes. yeah. hospitality, yeah. tourism, and such. Um, so it's an integral part of the success of the city, and we hope as many people from Europe and specifically Ireland keep coming back to Chicago because we need them. And um, just as much as we need them from here all, to go back home, called, it's a two-way process. That's called the world that we live in. You know, it's all about yeah. trade and, and 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 exchange and cultural exchange. And um, I I'm just excited to be here tonight and also to recognize my roots and um, be part of the, uh, the, the larger diaspora. Irish community. Yeah. There's a big Mayo contingent here in the city of Chicago. I'm sure you interact uh, with them from time well, to we, time. Well, it, historically, I think during the 2017, which was the centenary, we had a number of judges and elected officials that were from, uh, in Cook County, that were from Mayo. Joe, it's lovely to catch up with you again. Last time we met was in Swinford for the 250. And of course, you're no strangers to coming back home to Mayo. Oh, no, not at all. In fact, uh, you know, my, my father, John Curry, uh, was born and raised in Swinford. Uh, he had four brothers and four sisters. Uh, sadly, they're all the diaspora out of Mayo. Uh, but uh, the aunts and uncles and their children and my cousins uh, were having a Curry family reunion in Westport uh, this August. 2022. So we're coming back to Mayo, home to Mayo, uh, for our family reunion. We'll have over 60 people, you know, uh, family uh, relations, uh, children. It'll be it'll be a fabulous reunion. Well, you met up with a lot of friends here at this function here to promote Mayo and home to Mayo as well for May next year. Uh, yeah, so it was really great. Obviously, you know, uh, being a, Chicago, a lifelong Chicagoan, you know, I've known a lot of people in Chicago who have roots in County Mayo. They're friends of mine. I'm so delighted to see so many of them here. Uh, actually, uh, one friend uh, was a co-owner of the Abbey Pub, a very popular Irish uh, bar here in Chicago for many decades. Uh, she told me that she uh, uh, worked as a girl in Brabson House in uh, uh, in Swinford, which is, uh, you know, the old manor house that was turned into a convent after independence. And uh, so it was uh, interesting to see someone who worked in uh, my dad's town many years ago and, and uh, share stories about that. Well, we look forward to having you back in Mayo next year. And uh, thanks very much for joining us on the show. Well, thank you so very much. Uh, we'll see you in Mayo next year. My job in Mayo County Council is head of communications, so it incorporates quite a lot of things. But one of the I suppose that the nicer sides of the role is diaspora engagement and as a local authority we've put a lot of effort and work into engaging with our diaspora over many many years and you know connecting and uh, reaching out to people who were born or from Mayo or have some connection in Mayo we, we really feel that it's, it's, it's hugely important and I have to say I'm very proud to, to work in that area. Um, Jerry mentioned uh, an initiative like Mayo Day, something we launched eight years ago, which has gone from strength to strength, and Mayo people right around the world seem to enjoy the day. They, they, they connect in with who they are, wherever they are in the world. It's an opportunity to acknowledge where they come from. And I suppose that loyalty and, and, and kind of passion and, and, and loyalty to where they came from really shines through on a day like that. So it's with that in mind, I suppose, just that I'll mention Home to Mayo. In 2020, Mayo County Council um, applied for a fund under the Global Irish Festivals Fund to win an opportunity to be part of the Global Irish Festival series. And two counties in the country won it, ourselves and Kerry. Um, and ours was one based on the fact that Mayo Day starts the month of May off, has been hugely successful to date. 
and um, what we were trying to do was extend that and create a festival for a whole month. So the month of May 2022 will be home to Mayo 20, 2022, obviously. Um, so it, it's a full month of activities. There's uh, festivals, events, get-togethers happening right around the county. Um, Sometimes we compare it to, many of you will remember the gathering that was held back in, I think, 2013. It was a national initiative, um, and it really, really was super successful. I guess Home to Mayo is, is very much the Mayo version of the gathering. It's gaining great momentum, and despite COVID, lots of people, certainly in the UK, and certainly some numbers in the US, are already talking about coming. So Jerry's absolutely right to say our Mayo people never need an invitation, but all we're doing is giving a little push. If you're thinking at all about coming to, to Ireland in 2022, consider May. There'll be such an amount of things to do apart from your normal family connection and visitation and stuff. There'll be a lot of activity, um, you know, something for everyone, culture, history, music. Um, so that's one of our key messages on this trip. Have these little cards hanging around the place. They're bookmarks. So when you're back in the office on Monday, stick one in just to remind yourselves to... Uh, Make that booking if you're thinking about coming next summer. And hopefully the world is, is in a place where we can actually all get on a flight without hassle and, 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 and difficulty. Um, I'm around for the rest of the evening. Hopefully I've, I have talked to a few. My voice is telling, uh, but I'd love to chat with whoever else that I haven't chat with. Thanks again so much for coming. It's fantastic to see everybody. And hopefully it's the start of uh, many trips for the local authority out here um, and our elected members uh, just to re-engage on an annual basis, hopefully. Thanks, guys. <laughs>they have about 1.2 million in the database at the moment with the histories of families in Mayo and actually in the outer areas as well. So we recently, our last year, they had um, Pat Quinn, who was actually a former governor here, uh, and he actually looked after his uh, looked for his family roots. So it just tells you the, the vast area and the vast amount of people that are actually doing it at the moment. And it's very, very uh, important from, from your part, of the, you're, you're representing North Mayo, and it's a huge thing now in that part of the country, isn't it? It's, it, it we, we did, we've never realised how beneficial it is to the area, and now that we see what it is, we're going to go after it, but we see it as an American-Irish thing, that there's people from all other counties that can come and inquire, and we can find out the information for them, go back all the history it's amazing i recently had the uh, australian ambassador with us and we were able to go and show him former uh, uh, minister of his own ted Lindsay, from australia who actually is originally from cross Malina, and uh, his family roots and we were able to show a grave where his families were buried so i mean the history really is amazing how's the jury coil Nice to have you here in the city of Chicago. Of course, you're no strangers in this part of the world. No, Henry, we're not no strangers. We have a family here, two sons and two brothers. Uh, I've been here on several occasions, been here at great functions, been here at different things, you know, and it never fails me to see how well the diaspora has done here. And not just what they do for Mayo or for Ireland, but what they do for their own here when there's any, when there's any functions on or anything here on. It's fantastic. We're here with Mayo County Council this time from right all over the county of Mayo. We're trying to promote the come home to Mayo in May next year. Please God, there'll be no COVID or anything. And we're, we're delighted to be part of that. And you know, we don't, it's an easy sell, Mayo. It's like going to the market with a good bullock, it's easy to sell it. You have the scenery, you have the people, you have the views, you have the food. What more do you want? And you know, there's a huge Mayo diaspora here in Chicago. And uh, a lot of these people, you know, they left without any education or anything, but they had something way more important with them. They had intelligence. And when it was the intelligence met the education, it was onwards and upwards for the Irish abroad. And you know, what people forget sometimes, that the most powerful nation in the world will block the streets of the biggest cities in the world for the Irish to march up. What an achievement that has been. 
what an achievement. And you can still see it today with all the great people that's here. You, you wonder why, and it's only when you meet them and you see what they're doing here. It's fantastic. How important is it for this Home to Mayo initiative? You talk to a lot of people from all walks of life here in the city um, and to get behind this initiative by Mayo County. Oh, very, very important, uh, you know. And without those people coming and highlighting all of this, we ourselves wouldn't even know. So now we'll go out, we'll be ambassadors and we'll spread the word and hopefully it'll be a brilliant success in May of 2022. Of course, no, you're, you're no stranger to County Mayo. You do try to get home as often as you can. Yeah, every summer we uh, manage to get home. We've been so lucky. So, and this year it was beautiful. The weather was uh, so good that we got to see parts of Mayo that, you know, we hadn't seen growing up. So at us, we were discovering lots of different areas. So that was kind of uh, really nice too. Yeah. And of course, you come from parts of the county, lovely parts of the county there, and Gary Moore, uh, which you, you, you like to visit as well when you get home. Oh, so that's where all the family is from, the Holly Mount, and uh, I still have a lot of family back there, both in Gary Moore and in Holly Mount. So I'd uh, love to go back and spend time with them, and we're lucky we get to do it. And, and Pat, the, the fact that they're organising a lot of events for Home to Mayo in next May, do you think people will get behind that now here in the city, the Mayo people? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. You know, as uh, the Cahirla says and uh, Jerry Coyle says, Mayo people don't need to be invited they will come but uh, it's good you know to get to, to get this word out here and uh, no question everybody here tonight is going to be wearing the red and green and they welcome Matt home to Mayo. This is past due there's a huge opportunity for um, uh, for, for this initiative uh, here in in, in, in in Chicago and all over New York Boston Philadelphia everything um, for Mayo to connect with the people that, 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 that's gone. You know, there's a lot of us, uh, I'm gone 42 years, but there's people gone 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and uh, no matter how long you're gone, you always think about going home. You, you, even in the back of your mind, as long as I'm here now, it's not going to happen now. But, but you know, the first 20 years I was here, you know, you're always thinking about going home, and uh, there, there was nothing like this. You know, there was nobody could reach out to. So th th there's a... You know, with this thing, there's a, there's a huge, there's a huge need for it. It's past two, and I, I wish them all look in the world. I came here just to see what, um, you know, what it was all about and how we can help or contribute or you know, we're we're definitely not going back now. But but if any way we can help to promote it or May of 2022. Well, we'll go back on a holiday. I'm talking about going back for good. Yeah. But uh, you know, if we can promote it in any way, or, uh, that's we'd be we'd be honored to do it. You're here at the function this evening here, and of course the, the councillors who were on this official trip to the city uh, paid a visit, a courtesy visit to you this morning. This morning, yeah. Um, it was lovely to see Michael Loftus in, you know, my home, from my hometown. It was lovely to see him in. And uh, yeah, they were in for an hour, and uh, they were with Kevin and Sarah, the council general and the vice council, and uh, yeah, it was lovely. Nice to see our Mayo people in visiting us <laughs> all the time, you know. And uh, tonight was all about Home to Mayo to launch it for Mayo uh, for May next year, 2022. Is it something that you think a lot of people will get behind here in the city from Mayo? Absolutely, for sure, yeah. Uh, we have a lot of people going home for Christmas that haven't been home in a couple of years, myself included. And then uh, we're going home uh, into May of next year. Unfortunately, we can't go any sooner. I would love to go for the festivities, you know, for the beginning of May, but we'll try and get something in. <laughs> we'll try and get something in May at some stage next year, for sure. Unbelievable. So this is great. So when people come together, so you can't, you can't beat that, you know? Especially in Chicago, we have a great Irish community here. Everybody from all, even not even from Mayo, but from all over the country come together, you know? And so it's great. But Mayo especially is a very tight, tight-knit community, you know? So. And um, for young people coming out here, still good opportunities for them? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, there's mostly Irish people that come out now, or like, a lot of them are so engineers, architects. It's like the Irish is, we're so dominant over here right now. We all, everybody is great jobs, and you know what I mean? It's very good. It's, it's great. And, and how often would you go home now? I would usually go home once a year, but like due to the COVID pandemic and all that, I couldn't get home. But I was home like six weeks ago, so it was it was great. It was great to go home 
you know, just to see everybody and, you know, you miss the old pint and just going into the pub and, you know, you can't beat that. You can never beat that. You, you know? can have, have everything here in the city, but it's still not the same as home. It's not the same as home. You can't, you, you can't be going into a pub and having the crack with all the, the people that are, just have the banter with them, you know, just have the crack, listen to them, listen to the stories. You'll never get that over here. But we grew up with that, you know. So we 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 love it. We love it when we go home. You know? so I'm from Balna. It's the salmon capital of Ireland, and obviously the the capital of North Mayo. And we're very proud of the the tourism destination that Balna is. And we're looking forward to welcoming as many of our diaspora and many visitors from the U.S. And who knows, maybe even the U.S. president himself might touch down at Knock and might find himself in Balna back to his, his roots. So we're very excited about that potential and um, kind of reconnecting those ties that tie us so closely with the US and in County Mayo. You're very much involved in the business uh, end of things here in uh, Chicago, of course, but very, still very proud of your Mayo roots. Well, yeah, I moved to here 17 years ago with uh, Hollister. They're based in Libertyville, north of uh, Chicago. Uh, we have a big manufacturing plant in uh, Ballina, uh, about a thousand people employed in the place. Um, yes, I'm absolutely very proud of my Mayo roots. I come from Swinford, uh, support Mayo football, uh, had the heartache of moving, uh, uh, going over for the, the final uh, this last year, but again, as we all say in Mayo, next year we'll be there. Now, a great function here has seen a lot of people from all walks of life here for the Home to Mayo launch. Um, is it something that you think would work very well for, um, with the diaspora here? Well, I think what, what I saw tonight was a fantastically organised event. Uh, Martina and everyone did, did Trojan work get, getting it all organised. But when I came here, I wasn't expecting the diversity of people that I saw here. Uh, I met a lot of people that I grew up with in Swinford. Uh, met a lot of people that I, I work with, um, Ballina, all over the place. Uh, but then there was a lot of Irish Americans, and I know we don't like calling them Irish Americans, they're Irish. Uh, but people that have a lot of uh, ties with Mayo, and, and they're giving up their time to come here to Chicago and, and uh, spend time with us. It, it was just fantastic. There was more people here than I really expected. And just the diversity of people was unbelievable. The Mayo County Council delegation attended a number of other engagements in the city, including a courtesy call to the Irish Consulate and Embassy, followed by a luncheon hosted by the Irish Fellowship Club. The following day, the delegation travelled north side of the city to meet with more of the diaspora and to promote Home to Mayo with a round of press, radio and TV interviews. The delegation's final engagement was at the Mayo Association annual Christmas function held in Gaelic Park in the south side of the city. Don't forget to check out all that's on offer if you plan to visit Mayo during the month of May. Check out www.mayo.ie slash home to Mayo for full details and start planning your trip now.